Okay, Paradise, you're it this time. We hide and you go see. Very well, but remember, you unicorns, winking out is against the rules. One, two, three. <laughs> You know winking out is against the rules. Now wink back in this minute. I didn't mean to. It's okay. Wink all the way back in so we can get on with the game. I'll try. <laughs> she has such trouble winking back in. Come on, Baby Ribbon. Want to play smart? Come on, little one. You can do it. I did it. Okay, let's start over. I'll be it again. One, two... I'm hiding in the pool! Do you mind? Ready or not, here I come! Someone's hiding behind that rock. And I think it's Baby Ribbon! Oh, not again! She's no fun. Baby Ribbon, we're waiting. Boy, this is pathetic. Oh, come on. She's just a baby. Looks like she's having more trouble than usual. Maybe she winked back somewhere else. I'll see if I can find her. Back in a jiffy. Something's happened to them. I just know it. We'd better tell Megan. I wonder where they could have gone. Baby Ribbon, where are you? For that matter, where am I? <gasps> now let's not jump to conclusions. We don't know for certain that they're in trouble. I have a bad feeling about it. I've got to find out what's happened to them. Galaxy, wait! Oh no, she's gone too. Now hold on. After all, it's only been a couple of seconds. The unicorns wink in and out instantly, Megan. If Galaxy had found Ribbon and Baby Ribbon, they'd be back by now. What's going on? I think they would be back. All right, listen to me. Spread the word. No more winking out until we know what's going on. Is that clear? Perfectly. Good thinking, Megan. Come on, let's tell the other unicorns while there's still time. Hi, have you seen Fizzy around? She just winked out. But she didn't wink back in again. I'm afraid Gusty's gone too. She was too impatient to run back here for lunch, so she winked out instead. That means I'm the only unicorn left. Let's get the other ponies. We've got to form search parties and try to find the unicorns. Dark. We're gonna have to get back to Paradise Estate. Just let me look around this rock. Buttons, come back! Those rocks look like they might give way! <laughs> she winked out! I saw her! So did I.
Tambalon. Hmm. It sounds familiar. Something to do with the legend of a lost city. I'm sure that Ribbon was trying to reach me telepathically. But from where? We'll never see them again. No, no. They'll come back. But from where? Where have the unicorns gone? Where have the unicorns gone? Where are those magical creatures now? Once upon a time they frolicked near. What could have made them disappear? I keep looking high and low. They're nowhere in the neighborhood. I search every corner that I know. I can't believe they've gone for good. Bring back the unicorns, please. Don't say they've taken their final bow. I still need a dream to dream upon. Tell me where have the unicorns gone? Oh, where have the unicorns gone? According to the ancient legend, Tambalon is the realm of darkness, a sort of in-between place. It last appeared 500 years ago, and its ruler, Grogar, tried to conquer Ponyland. So what happened? How do you wind up back in the realm of darkness? Uh, I don't remember. But Grogar swore he would return in 500 years to try again. That still doesn't explain what happened to the unicorns. If Tambalon changes slowly from the realm of darkness to Ponyland, maybe one part changed faster than the others, and somehow caught the unicorns when they were winking in and out. You mean they might be in Tambalon? Unicorns at best eat. No telling when the next meal might come. If it comes. <laughs> There's gotta be some way to get out of here. How? We can't wing through walls, and that door's locked. Isn't there anything we can do? I've already done the only thing. I just hope my dream message got through to Megan. The unicorns have been fed, Master. Excellent. Now, Bray, we will reach Ponyland very soon. Prepare the troggles for arrival. Yes, Master. Uh, right away. Oh, and Bray! Don't dawdle. Mm. No, no, Master. No dawdling. Of course not, Master. Uh, right away, Master. We'll form search parties again today, and... I've never seen a storm come up so fast before. This isn't a storm. It's Dambalon! In the name of Goga, capture the little pony! Run! Look at the little pony! It's done, Master! Dream Valley is yours! Exactly as I planned! Today, Dream Valley. Tomorrow, all of Ponyland. Nearly all the little ponies and their friends have been captured, Master. Nearly all is not good enough, Bray. I want every inhabitant of Ponyland in the dungeons by nightfall. I am especially interested in the humans. 
since they, like the Troubles, have hands. We need more slaves with hands, Bray. <laughs> hands that can serve us. No go! <laughs> the baby ponies are safe with the Moochick. His magic will protect them. The bad news, Megan, is all the sea ponies except Surf Rider and Water Lily have been captured. As far as I can ascertain, Forget-Me-Not and I are the only two Flutter Ponies that escaped. Lots of Bush Willies captured, too. Yeah, yeah, what? Hey, yeah. Here you are. Grundles look all over. Good. I mean, all under for you. Are you all the Grundles that are left? Afraid so. All others captured. What are we gonna do? How are we gonna stop Rogar? Oh, cheer up, everybody. As long as we're free, there's still a chance. It may look pretty dark right now, but believe me, the morning's gonna come. Tell us what to do first, Megan. Well, the first thing to do is figure out a way to break into the city and rescue everyone. Any ideas? Bundles can dig their way in. Yeah, great idea. Let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> great idea. <laughs> We there yet? and we'll lead you to the gates. Gee, I hope Megan and Lofty are all right. Say no more. I'll reconnoiter and ascertain what's transpiring. Huh? I meant I will perform a covert surveillance and report back post-haste. Megan's come to show us the way out. Hurry! It's not far from here. If we time it right, we can get out when they change guards. There they are! Oh, no! Not far now, is it? I think we're really gonna make it. I really do. Then again, I could be wrong. Capture them! Now! You better make some bubbles. Quick, quick, quick. Dusty, you blow them into the trunks. Come on, right now. Okay. But I didn't... 
didn't know this was a party.
Okay, Masquerade, run! Wait! Give up, Strogar! We've got you surrounded! <laughs> You're wrong, boy! I've got you surrounded!
us to the dungeons. Even a dungeon will look nice compared to this. It's safe. Ponies, what a pity you can't stay for long, for in a few short hours, you and the rest of your kind will be banished to the realm of darkness! Well, here's another fine mess we've gotten ourselves into. It's my fault. I trusted Trog, and he led us into a trap. It was a risk worth taking, Danny. Don't worry, we're not beaten yet. But midnight is not far off, Megan. And when it strikes, we shall all be banished to the realm of darkness. I can't help but feel that the big bell we found is important. It has something to do with Grogar's power. I'm certain of it. Here go, traitor! <laughs> He called you a traitor. That means you didn't betray us. A few Troggles are still loyal to Grogar. They told him of my plan to help you. Well, that wasn't very nice. But most of my people are fed up with Grogar. They would help you against him if you would give us a new home in Ponyland. You bet we would. But how can we get word to the rest of the Troggles? We can't escape this dungeon! Good news, Master! The Moochick and the Baby Ponies have been captured! That means Ponyland is mine! This calls for a celebration! Tell the Troggles that anyone not found celebrating will be banished along with the ponies at midnight! <laughs> right away, Master! Now to start the spell that will banish the ponies from Ponyland forever! Wonder what they're so happy about. They're not. They're just following Grogar's orders. That's funny. It sounds louder over here. And it gets louder the higher I go. It's loudest at this crack. And there's fresh air coming through. If there was some way to widen the crack, something we could force into it. <laughs> Try this. I'd rather pour it in a crack than eat it. If we could put the gruel into that crack and make a bubble, it would expand and make the crack bigger. I've got it! Forget me not, you and Peach Blossom carry the bucket up to the crack. Okay, now Buttons, you move the soup from the bucket into the crack. I'll try, but everybody get out from underneath just in case. We can't hold it much longer. Look out below. Phew. Fizzy, you've got to make that step in the crack bubble. Okay. Grogar's gonna be mad when he hears about this! <laughs> 
wasn't my fault! If they get out of the city, you will take their place! Before midnight! Come on! Enjoy living in Ponyland, Drog. I'm sure we will. But I still can't believe Grogar is really gone for good. Well, it took him 500 years to build the old bell, even with the Troggles' help. So I don't think he'll be back anytime soon. Yuck! <laughs> 